Hello and welcome to another Battle Report, another Drop Zone Commander Battle Report. So today, um, if you watched the last Battle Report, um, we just used the basic starter sets. We're going to still be using the same models, but we've switched up a little bit. And we're going to try out one of the missions in the book. So the mission we're going to try out is one called Strong Point Raid. This is this one here. Uh, basically what you have is you have a small zone in the middle of the board. 12 inches away from all the edges and in that place is where the defender starts with a portion of his army, one third, and they have to stop the attackers gaining access to the building and taking the objective. So we have the UCM will be defending and the Scourge will be attacking. Considering how we're only using small armies, it's just a skirmish, so we only have one building with an objective. We decided to be quite fun, a lot of people shooting each other, a lot of people dying in that particular area. Now the victory conditions are a bit, a bit different to a normal game. If the objective is not discovered, then the defenders gain two points. They can still gain points if they discover it themselves, so if they want to get it and run away because it looks a bit too hot in that area. Um, but obviously the standard attacker gets that point, gets a victory point if they take it, or two victory points if they get it off the board. Um, and there is reinforcements, so at a particular point during the game, do need to look it up when that happens. Uh, the other two thirds of the UCM army will come back in. I have a feeling it's actually on turn one. But we'll double check. So in a minute we'll show you both the armies. Um, <laughs> they are kind of painting a few different schemes as we're not 100% sure what we like. So I've got some green in with the beige. But um, yeah, we will come back to you with the armies and then following on from that we'll uh, show you the game. Okay, for the UCM army, we have over here one infantry battle group. This is two bears, six units, six bases of legionnaires in a condor. We have an armor battle group, which is three sabers, three rapiers, two condors. We have another armor battle group, again, three sabers, three rapiers, two condors. And finally, another infantry battle group, as you might expect, six bases of legionnaires, two bears, and they're Condor. Alright, that is the full UCM list. For the Scourge, it's a little bit different due to the army rosters we can play in this mission. We have one infantry battle group over here, which is six bases of warriors, two invaders, and a marauder. One special, special one, special group, I should say, uh, which has three reapers. Here in a marauder. We then have another infantry battle group, six bases of warriors, two invaders, and a marauder. And then we have one big armor battle group, which includes three reapers in a marauder and six hunters in two marauders. There is another hunter, but he's just drying from being a little bit painted. And uh, that is the score drum. Okay, end of turn one. So what has happened is the, the UCM starting direct deployment. So we have two bears and the condor in there. So all they've done is get out of their condor and get into this burn of the objective. Now, it seems that the reinforcements, you start rolling from turn one, you need a six to make a reinforcement come on, which none of, none of that happened. So it's just one set of UCM on the board at the moment. What happened with the Scourge is this infantry group, they came on from this table edge. You can look, I can come in from all three table edges, bar this one. So they came in from this table edge, moved up, got in the building. The anti-air group here, or the special, special battle group, it came in from this table edge and moved up. Was there? Haven't got out of that one now. Out, out of that one yet. The other infantry battle group is sitting here. That one's waiting next turn so I can move a bit further and get out. But I don't want to go close to the building because yes, my lord. If, if he goes first then he can um, shoot it down with his infantry inside. And then my armour battle group, this big squad moved up, they got out, as did the anti-air there. The anti-air are waiting on that side, so if he comes in and comes in anywhere near this section, he gets reaction fired. Cunning plans, eh? So. Also happens at the end of turn yes, two. My lord.
Alrighty then, end of turn two. So, the beginning of the turn, the UCM Legionnaires moved to the side of this building and managed to kill three of my tanks, which is pretty upsetting. It's because they didn't move uh, six inches in order to gain the skimmer rule, so they got shot a lot by rockets. Um, in return, the tanks, uh, they, they moved six inches, but back to the way they were, so they get their skimmer bonus, and both of their dropships moved up and put some damage on the building. The anti-air, the reapers, they moved up and destroyed the condor that happened to have moved here. That got blown up. That marauder dropship again shot the building. The infantry here, they moved up. They got in the building on this side facing, so the building's pretty packed, but no close combat yet. What happened as well is my anti-air, move around a little bit. The anti-air unit here. They moved forward and got out, ready for action fire reinforcements. The squad here moved to the side of the building and shot this building. And one unit of reinforcements came on, but they're all the way over here. So no poor reaction fire for me. Um, the building was, as it was shot a lot, we've done 13 damage points to the building. And only managed to do 3 damage from fallen masonry, which is, uh, which is a bit annoying because uh, that was the whole point of me shooting the building. Don't let it destroy because I can't get the objective. Alright, we'll see what happens at the end of um, turn 3. Hello, end of turn 3. So, not a huge amount happened, lots of repositioning. So, we had the. Uh, we've had some extra reinforcements come on, flown in from that table edge. This is one of the armour groups, and they've just come on and stayed there. The infantry squad in this condor did nothing. A lot of repositioning for the Scourge, so what we've got is obviously this Marauder flew over here. This Marauder picked up the, uh, the Reapers that were there, and they got moved over here. The armor groups Marauders flew over here. The armor groups units, the Hunters and Reapers, moved up. Um, that unit stayed where they were. And then the only other thing we had was the close quarter combat. And it was more or less a victory to the Scourge, but the UCM is still in there. The Legionnaires are staying fast, so I can't grab the objective yet. So we'll see what happens when they get next turn. So moving on to turn four. Okay, end of turn four. What has happened is the Reapers. They moved around the corner, they came here, they blew up one of the condors. The tanks, uh, one of the tanks died and the other two got out and then they were promptly shot and killed by the infantry here. The other condor from that armour group moved around here and the units got out. The infantry one, with both the bears still in it, moved over here. My armour group moved up this way and destroyed both the bears that were by the building and then up in this, uh, the building here, we managed to have close, co close quarter combat. I have got um, 13 guys left, he's got four, and that's basically it. So that is the end of turn four, moving on to number five. Okay, end of turn five, it's been a pretty brutal turn. We've done a lot of damage, um, so the UCM, the uh, the rapiers that were here managed to blow up one of the marauders over there. And what they also did, uh, we have, I move around to this side of the table, they managed to bring the last remaining uh, units on, their reserves. However, my anti-air were able to move up and blow up one of the condors that was here. I rolled a six on the table, so all of the tanks inside died. What I also did was something very similar on the condor that was over here. There was a condor with two bears in it. What happened was my anti-air shot it down. Um, one of the tanks um, killed one of the bears, fought up to kill the bear. Then the bear exploded, killing all the infantry inside. The other bear got out and was blown up by this marauder. The, then the infantry were shot at by the hunters and those two marauders. The close combat up here I outnumbered the legionnaires and my warriors, so I finally managed to kill them all. And that is the end of turn five. So last turn, uh, let's see what happens. Okay, 
Okay, end of the game. Uh, it is a victory to the Scourge. What happened? These three, the three Reapers over here, shot the last Condor. I, I got, I got the initiative. They shot the Condor, and the Condor blew up, and everything inside it died. <laughs> um, the remaining uh, Rapiers here, they took a point of damage off that Marauder, and then were shot by everybody in this building, and also my Hunters, killing them. Uh, we failed to kill these guys in the building, H you hosed them down, nothing happened. Uh, one, they did decide to shoot my flyer but did absolutely nothing. And the objective that was in the main building got in to a invader and then flew away after jumping in Marauder. Um, obviously can't get off the board this turn so you can only move half, but we're still in control of the objective. So it is one, two, zero basically. But yeah, good game, Victory to the Scourge.